Hello and welcome back to some more Brandenburgian ambitions. With me, the Green Dragon in Europe Universalis 4 as of course Brandenburg. So we're currently screwing Poland and Poland is well and truly screwed. So now we just want to siege out a little Riga because you know that's an awesome thing to have a nice little trading city-state over this way and I really feel like um, they would be a lot more comfortable, and by comfortable I mean useful, and by useful I mean useful to us, if they were under us. So, in order to make that happen, we are going to let our vassals siege them out and feed them to someone. And Bohemia actually attacked them in Ossel. Well, good for them, goodbye Riga's army. The sky, they... Eh? Actually, no, we're going to have to core a thing. So, our next target will be Mazovia, actually. Quite possibly, anyway. Because we will want a Polish course return to Poland. Right? Because that sounds like a good thing. Right after we... So, right after we vassalize Poland, we're going to do some of that crap. Actually, we could do it before. What's your alliance? It's Hungary and Brad... Oh, no way! Oh, no way! Mazovia gives us a way into Brandenburg. Sorry, not Brandenburg. Hungary. And that allows us to return Bohemian shit. Oh, glorious. Yes, we're gonna feed Bohemia. Let them manufacture claims on Hungarian stuff and we'll keep getting in there and tracking that up. So... That sounds like a really good idea. Also, can I reform my alliance with you, Austria? Please, I'll be good. What's my relations now? Six of six. Okay. So maybe not just yet, but soon. Also, you need to get across there in order to actually help with your siege. Because you have siege. Two points of siege, in fact, which is really good. That's a random troop from yay. Yay, whatchamacalls, it's uh, uh, Bremen. At least this air was born before we had that. Um, those losses of, well, stuff, namely, whatchamacalls, it's legitimacy, so they will be at full legitimacy. Do want to keep these? Think so. Possibly. Oh yeah, we can afford the second army now. We'll keep those. Well, maybe not. No, maybe we will. They're costing quite a bit, but I think I have enough money to run them. Well, at the very least, we'll leave them on top of Riga until that is scored. And this is Prussian, which actually makes things very easy for us. Go away, I'll piece you out once I see Driga. And did I not... Oh, right, I... for the coring. Right, 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 for the coring. How much will this actually cost? Okay, so, you, Riga. Tut, tut, tut. Full annex. Much mad, I know. So very uncool. 121 admin. Good, and... Poland. We want these two holdings, and then we can vassalize them in the next war. One of these will go to, yay, uh, Bohemia, which is good. That will make good things happen. Can I core this? Yes, I can, actually. But I'll be wanting to feed it back to Poland when I can. There, oh yeah, that's a lot of negatives, but they'll burn off eventually. So next I think we're gonna declare on Mazovia, strangely enough. Even though they're an ally, they're an ally that would be extremely useful to remove. So, lots of shipsies. Let's get all of you up there. There, there. Right, those are the transports. Yeah, just move the troops across, it'll be fine, and that's just some random stuff there. So we'll gather everyone, ditch some of the stuff we don't want. Oh, 
my naval force limit is actually high enough to... Huh. Okay. In that case, you patrol that. We are at peace right now, so let's start the annexation of that. And start working... Oh, you hate me right now, don't you? Annex the member of the Holy Roman Empire and annex the vassal. So let's marry you. Because our legitimacy is crap anyway. And when can I start the annexation, time limit wise? Four more years. So maybe not start the Teutons just yet and work on improving you first. So that we can start these two at the same time. Possibly. And you know, I really think I will go to war with Mazovia next because that will allow me to f war Hungary without hitting their French and Danish alliance. Or actually, no, that's not Danish alliance, that's the Savoyard alliance, but still. Okay, yes, let's just prepare a thing. And then we can just ditch their alliance, because they took Poland's stuff, right? They took Poland's stuff, and this might be a quite a long war. And you know, it doesn't actually matter when we declare war, because we can just have the claim ready and, you know, for the using of. And yeah, let's just make sure we have a claim, and then we can decide on when to exactly launch the war. And that will be glorious. And Brandenburg is currently becoming very awesome indeed. So you are improving. There should be no trouble getting them up to their thing by the time we're ready to strike. No problem whatsoever, in fact. Come on. Yeah, so that's Riga slowly getting cored. We're gonna keep that directly. And stuff like this, we're just gonna take temporarily and then feed it back to them. So yeah, I will want this, this, that has a claim, so that's okay-ish. We'll see. Actually, I would like to declare them on them when I can, you know, effectively do the whole return these cores to Poland thing, because first I need to vassalize Poland in order to make that happen. I am slightly worried about the alliances shifting, but... That should not be a problem. Oh, and the Livonians as well. Mazovia is becoming more and more attractive as a ma person to attack, to be honest. Because, <laughs> well, it also brings us me into a nice compact war with Livonia. That does not involve Denmark, which makes things very fun indeed, because I can take advance on multiple fronts without risking fights with truly major powers. And I think that that is a really good political move. All the same... Well, maybe not, but... Ooh, we can build these here, apparently. Well, let's. More manpower is not gonna hurt, I'm sure. So, there we go. Couple more armories. We're actually up to 35,000 reserves. Which is really nice indeed. That will go a long way. We still have Poznan, for which we can declare war when we want. And we're actually going to proclaim guarantee to make sure nobody eats them. Silesia is proceeding nicely. I think it might be wise to do the Polish attack first and then strike at Mazovia. I mean, truly. War exhaustion is good, though. So we should be fine on that. Ships are good. I could actually build more trade ships. And actually, important question, how are we doing on the trade? Because that is important. We have like 50%. Exactly 50%. So, I'm willing to content myself with that for now. And Brandenburg is starting to be a name on the map. Very much so, in fact. Could make that there. Not much point. Riga is nicely coring, that's good. How's my ore extension? How much more could I eat? Not that much. And you are, I assume, happily, happily coring? Means cancel the rights to access. Well, 
Actually, let us improve with Bohemia just to make sure that that works out just fine. Because we do want the Union to be nice and stable and we do want them to be nice and happy. Well, 96 prestige. Actually, oh, Mazovia once again has no... Alright, that's the young heir. He must have just come of age. So that's hardly a big deal. It's hardly gonna help us a lot. Still, that's something. That's something. I suppose there's always a chance of getting lucky. So Austria, Mazovia, Ferrar, Mantua and Württemberg. Austria, I assume, is still in the Regency Council with their crappy king. And indeed they are. They're neutral to me now. Let's up that. Make sure that they're not as unhappy. I might want to reform that alliance at some point. I mean... I have 6 of 6 right now, so that's fine, we'll be okay, just, you know, it would be nice, wouldn't it? That is Polish peasants and more Polish peasants. That's sticking up nice and slow, like that's wonderful. And another revolt in Riga, which will be swiftly put down, I believe, and indeed it is. So, Mazovia, okay, what about Hungary? Mazovia, France and Savoy, yeah, it has to be Mazovia. Just has to be. So yeah, we lose some men on keeping Riga under control, but our manpower on average is heading upward, so it's not that bad. And ship-wise, I don't know, I guess I could build a few galleys, but I'd really have no need for a strong naval force just yet. I might fight the Denmarkians at some point. Oh, god damn it, they held on to their bloody union. I will have to actually fight them to kill the Union. The best way to fight them is by... Oh, wonderful! How badly do you hate me and why? Aggressive expansion is not that bad. Well, it's bad. It's really bad, actually, but it's not quite that bad. So... A coalition... Bunch of small ones and Cologne and... Actually, Turinga as well. Oh, and Monster as well. You dicks. You bloody dicks. Let's try and improve relations with them. Maybe that'll help. I'll just have to expand in this side of the world then. How are we coming along on the German nation ones? We own three out of a fuck ton more. What about Prussia? I need to own Osprusen and I need to own Hinterpommern, which I already do, and I need to be Protestant or Reformed. And then I could form Prussia at tech level 10. How is that coming along? Ah, oh, God damn it, sure, we'll not anger the Pope this time. Also take one of Castile's guys. I mean, five noble regiments is not that big a deal, it's easy enough to fix. So sure, we'll do that. And apparently we've been running without an advisor, let's fix that. How's that truce coming along? Slowly, apparently. Slowly. And how are you, my darling? Looking more or less okay, actually. They're gonna be mad when I annex them, and when I annex Bohemia. Oh, they're gonna be ma a a a a and Oh well. Suppose it can't be helped much, can it? Riga is almost scored, at least that's something. Also, let's make a temple in yay there. Hard to click on it. Constables. Oh, some good spots for them, too. Nice. Income, income, income. Oh, and we are actually bordering Munster. Munster has gotten strong. How do they not have a coalition against them yet? Perhaps I should... But no. We don't want to declare war on the coalition yet. Mazovia. Yes, yeah, still no air, which is fine. We'll be shortly coming to play with them anyway, so... Eh? Whatever. You are... Am I improving? I am, right. 
ok recall you and you are again slowly improving relations what's your alliance is nobody cares about you you know what let's break the royal ties ok and let's actually go to war with Mazovia we have the claim we have everything it's it's fine no 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 that is not what is gonna happen I'm gonna give you a month to prepare after I dissolve the alliance hint dissolving of alliances is sometimes a prelude to attack Mazovia or maybe I'm just rearranging my diplomacy and do not consider you a valuable ally anymore you may guess which it is in this particular case hint I'm not just rearranging stuff <laughs> oh yes all the people I want to fight in one glorious war where I can make all kinds of separate pieces to make it happen call them in good who does who owns Smolensk? Oh, you allied them. Okay, I suppose. That's there. Nobody cares. Nobody really cares about duckling. What they do care about is this. And we're gonna go and attack. So how much would I need to actually vassalize the Livonians along with all their you know fun stuff let's head over here and say hi oh we did a good job there excellent now Livonians uh, only a little bit I could probably get away with just taking a single place and you know then proceeding to do this the civilized way as in vassaling them I just have to take a single holding temporarily to vassal them in the next war which is good okay and look at that we appear to have discovered a Hungarian army let's go and say hi and we have a tactics advantage so this too is a glorious and simple thing and what's the fun part and the fun part is we're the leaders of the war and none of them can leave the war until we are well and truly done with them now this this will be glorious except Smolensk. Smolensk can go and fuck itself I don't really care about them so yeah I guess this guy did realize what was going on and did have the time to actually do something about it not that it's gonna help much actually losing money huh. how far is that nine years yeah take that sure that sounds good so you are happily sieging the two you have claims on oh the bohemian claim on that one actually went away but I will happily feed you whatever you can take bohemia it's if you can take something of the what Shoma calls it um, yay um, Hungarians I'm gonna happily give it to you it's fine Denmark I don't even need them in this war to be honest it's nice that they came though it shows a certain amount of friendship I would say truly now the moment this true sense we will declare war on Poland possibly before even we before we even end this war FYI and hello Smolensk and what's your tech level to be honest 7 so I should get a tactics advantage Venden oh and that's coming with Livonian troops as well okay we'll break that then might be okay even with just those troops but I don't want to risk it so there we go and go that way that's fine control enough sieges and the Livonians I want out of this as soon as possible actually as soon as I can take a holding of theirs because there's no reason to keep them in the war and keeping them in the war will give Denmark a chance to siege enough and to do enough to start actually 
thinking about a separate peace deal which will be a bad bad time which we don't want so yeah we don't want Denmark to take any more of the Livonians that is something that is not according to my plans and we intend to prevent it hopefully disputed succession Austria, Mazovia, Brunswick, Mantra and Württemberg nobody interesting okay but that's the thing, we already have a useful union with Bohemia, we don't really need another. We're fine. So yeah, they're gonna siege all of that, and... That's a problem, because they might siege enough and do enough to actually, you know, start uh, thinking about taking some of it for themselves in a separate peace deal, and that would not be good. Although, of course, they would have to peace out with Mazovia, which is different since they're not going to have much war score against them so it might be okay still well maybe we do go for full occupation I mean I suppose we could okay that's done let's head down there so yeah these little buddies are pretty well screwed okay won the siege of Dorpat nice and you'll move to Narwa because we want to patrol that prevent the Denmarkians from sitting on top of it please leave this will be our con siege under our control I'm in control of this one which is good Brunswick is coalitioning we'll fuck them too we'll deal with the coalition at some point in fact we'll keep declaring war on it at one point until they're all gone possibly because that's the thing we can declare war on the coalition it might hurt us a little bit at times, but we can definitely try. And you know, I'm strong enough and they are weak enough that I could try, to be honest. Apparently the Swedes took over that. Semigalia is one. Good, good, good. So this is looking extremely good right now, I would say. L extremely good, in fact. We are, in fact, kicking ass. I should probably take Semigalia to make it so that I can travel between my, you know, other holdings and Riga without any problems. Another siege has fallen. Well, go to Zemplen and start sieging that. So yeah, this is looking extremely good right now. As long as we don't get a, the war is won thing. You know, a call for peace. Because that would be unpleasant. Quarantine the port. Okay, Ossal is one. Head this way, we'll want to. Livland is one. Good. we we'll want to, of course, have a separate piece with them as well. And how is that truce coming along? Nicely. Nicely, nicely, nicely. Next year, in fact. August next year. So, a little more than a year. So, we're almost... If that's the case, actually, I'll want to move this army. Well, actually... Actually... Ah, eh, it's fine either way. Or so, sure, yeah, they don't have that much stuff. Okay. Semigali and Wenden and Dorpat. Let's see. You're offering me an awful lot, which is nice, but... Do I really want this? I mean, it's not a lot of our extension, to be honest, so... And this... Right, I would have to take, like, two to make this stick, because these are smaller ones, right? Well, this would essentially give me all of Latvia. And yes, annul all your treaties and give me 30% of your trade power. And no, you don't have to return Ingria. I think this will be good. I think this will do nicely. This will do nicely. Now, if they join the coalition over this, we might have to declare war on the coalition next. In order to make this stick properly. Yes, yeah, sure. Ah! Lithuania has decided that we need to die in a fire. Wonderful. Let's send a diplomat there to hope 
hopefully start changing that right back to what it should be. Namely, you know, worshipful ad adoration of our greatness, but um, my hopes are not that high. Lithuania, they can be pretty bitchy about people, in my experience. Can't imagine why, but they can be a little bit. Mazovia, Plok, no, 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 no. We'll want to first screw Hungary for the sake of our other bros, namely in Bohemia, and they did take Moravia, so we could at the very least take that from them, right? Even though I have no diplomats to send. So, you are nicely improved, as are you, so we shall, we shall soon be able to start actually consider, you know, integrations. Which is good. And here, sure, we'll pick up a tech. Here as well. Sure, sounds good. And you need to come down this way, cause... Because, just because. Wow, they're getting swarmed. Sucks to be them. Hungary is still at high war enthusiasm, though. Not exactly willing to surrender. Which we'll have to keep in mind. You know, a full occupation of Hungary is not that difficult for us to achieve. So, I'm willing to, you know, work with that. If only we had Kurland from Denmark. And they have increased calling costs because they took aristocratic ideas. You little fracker. Totally screwed me too. Now we're gonna keep our Diplo points because we'll need at least a few for the peace deal. No, don't attach. No, don't attach. Go to these two, it'll be glorious. Free Croatia! How does that sound for a peace term? That will essentially just end up feeding it to Venice or Austria though, so there's not much point. Well, maybe I would be close enough. Come on, auto save so I can look at where the Croatian course, how far the Croatian course stretch. Not to here, only up to here. And Tarnovo is ya already someone else's. Serbia has a claim. Serbia. Okay, sure. So, August this year, this truth ends and we can declare on Poland and vassalize them. This will make them mad, but that's the thing, the negatives are spread out over several categories which will all be burning off simultaneously, which will make it easier for us to wait them out and make good things happen. Recall you, sure. Lithuania still slightly hate us, hates us. It might get worse after we vassalize Poland. Oh well, the price of greatness, I suppose. No interesting union opportunities yet. But, you know, at least one of our attempts paid off, which is nice. So, you don't want to send these troops into there. I'm keeping them for the invasion of Poland. Actually, I'm gonna send them here first. What's your tech? 7, eh? No. Mostly I want to return course to Poland anyway. Okay, that's good. Stuff is happening. Good, good, good. Bihar, sure. Down to medium, eh? They're starting to realize how screwed they are, I suppose. Which is, I suppose, a good thing. As is any ad advent of common sense. Bohemia, Bohemia, Bohemia. Where do you have claims, oh glorious Bohemia? Is there any place... Oh, Austria is actually taken stuff from Hungary. Good for them, I suppose. Not necessarily good for me, but good for them. Okay, it's already June, so only a couple more months. So, that's 26th of August. Oh, it's two months, in fact. We'll go in, take the rebels, then take 15,000 troops south, plop them on there, destroy their army, it'll be glorious. They have no alliances, they are doomed. They are essentially doomed. They're just waiting for the axe to fall. Which is perfectly fine with me. I don't have a problem with that at all. Global trade power, sure. 
getting nice amounts of points from our good king. So, and 26th good, take Poznan. But really, we're just gonna vassalize them and feed them a bunch of stuff. It'll be glorious. First, smash the peasantry. Good. Leave one. March. Oh, it looks like our bros will take care of that. But we're gonna put some troops on our cap on their capital just in case. Looks good. So much for Poland. Hungary. Seed Moravia to Bohemia. That might be okay. It might be okay. Actually, important question. No, no Polish claims. Huh. Shit. I had hoped there might be some. What's that? Wallachia. So you have taken over Wallachia as well. Okay, let's take a look at what we can actually make them do. I can release two nations, Croatia and Wallachia. Neither of which is of particular interest to me, although Wallachia, sorry, Croatia could be. Some treaties which are worth very little. Return course. Could return Moravia to Bohemia. Or just get them to seed it. Either way, same result. It's not much more I can get for them other than... F to be honest, no, this is good enough. I could weaken them and force them to do that, but... Oh, well, they're not willing to do any more right now anyway, so... Rather than drain our manpower in continuing warfare, we're actually gonna chill on that front. All we have to do is take Poland over anyway and we'll be fine. Have everything we ever wanted and then some. Okay, so, disputed succession. Polotsk. Huh, they would accept a peace vassalization. Now let's stick a guy on them. Because why not? You'll be happy because... Gave province in peace. I should have used the return core thing. That would have given me a greater diplomatic bonus with them. Because return core is 40. You know, return territory is 40. And gave province is plus 15, as you can see. But, alright, whatever. Whatever. If I could actually vassalize Pollux, that would be very nice. They're in the wrong nodes. Like, totally the wrong nodes, but... Eh! All the same, sounds good. I mean, it's still more territory and still expands my... Empire. Because, God damn it, we're building a proper empire here. Come on, Poland, give up the ghost. You know you can't win this. And that is Mazovia. No, 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 not yet. Soon, though, but not yet. That is a... Poland has a claim. Ooh. Might be able to feed that to them. Come on. In fact, we'll be giving some of their lands back to them, like this province of Kaliz. You know, because we're generous like that, you know? Also, the fuck is this crap? Detach! Sitting on top of me and costing me massive amounts of manpower. The frack. Okay, Krakow has fallen. Head here. Help with that. Ooh, that's a nice siege value. 63%. Very good. And you had two points of siege. Sit on top of that and help with that. And... Nope. 70. Wonderful. Glorious. Freaking peasants. So yeah, right now we're just waiting for the sieges to finish because we are almost done. 22. Four more in Bohemia. Okay, sure, why not? Go there. Go there, go there, go there. Siege? No? Fair enough. Fair enough, let's just finish this. Recall the diplomat, papal influence or prestige. God damn it, I'll take the prestige. Because the papacy isn't really working out for us, as it usually doesn't. So, you know, whatever. Also, how's our truce with you? 
proceeding. Do I have a claim on you? No, I ate my claim, so let's... Alright, I didn't even have a claim. So let's get one. Right, let's just get one, so that we have it to use next time. Possibly sending my only diplomat there was a mistake. Oh well. Okay, we actually got a cardinal. Surprising. Renounce their claims on Danzig. Oh, I want far more than that, Poland. Far more than that. So, um... Unify, march off. Recall the guy from Silesia, that'll be fine. And Poland, my darling, welcome to the fold. Boom! <laughs> now we can deal with Mazovia and discuss the terms of their surrender. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to attack the coalition to kill the Livonians, unfortunately. Oh well. So we can't vassal them, which is fine. These two will have to be returned to Poland. This is a Polish claim. This is apparently Ukrainian. Here. Oh, okay. That has been freed as Ukraine. We're not going to be doing that, but we will take that to feed to Poland. So, Poland. We'll be wanting to sell you some things. I have this snake oil right here. It will cure any disease. Why dost thou not believe me? There we go. Yes, because it's a claim they will eat it. Good. Well done, Poland. I approve of this. And Kalis. Kalis, Kalis. And we're actually five of six. Nice. So we could perhaps work on Polotsk or do some other things and it could be glorious. We could really manage with Muscovy though, so Muscovy might peace vassal them. That's a little less good. And you are not that upset, so I could actually improve relations with you and get you happier with me, but first we need to sell a core to Poland. Sell province. We were discovered, so now they'll be even more mad. Wonderful. So, province, there you go. Okay. So, at least you have continuous borders now. And Mazovia is put in its proper place, being a, you know, tiny little appendix and not a proper nation at all. As for here, I feel like building three more cannons makes a lot of sense to bring our army count up to 40. And we have more naval force limit 2 for when we want it. So, okay, you are still fabricating. We're gonna start the annexation of Silesia and Teutonic Order. Now that'll be a good, good thing. And oh shit, Austria is hostile to us. That's bad. Well, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. We don't want to core these, we want to... Right, so it would mean fighting all of that and Lithuania and Livonians on top of it. I think I could take them. I do have two armies, I should be... Oh, and now I can't take them. Frack's sake, that's not good. Austria being in the coalition is not part of the plan. That's why I wanted them to be friendly with us. Yeah, 55. Ouch. Now, if I maintain my Danish alliance with their unions and their glory, I might be okay. Hell, I might even be able to take the Livonians with the help of these guys. Still, it is worrisome ever so slightly, you know. It is slightly worrisome. Then again, we are expanding rather nicely, I would say. We have Bohemia, Poland, Silesia. I mean, that's some serious territory. I mean, look at this. This whole big chunk is now ours. All of this is now ours, and all we have to do is just soak it. We control practically all of the southern Baltic coast now, except for the Livonian lands there and this one Danish province here. 
it's and Mecklenburg of course but overall we are in a extremely good position even if we have made enemies in getting here so you know we will do this and we will continue doing this and we will continue being a cold-blooded evil asshole and slaughtering everyone around us with an axe axe murder also take the tech but that is gonna have to continue tomorrow so I suppose I'll see you guys tomorrow when we annex a couple of vessels and consider a real war against the coalition this time so I'll see you there